up and give a shout out to my friend Drew. She peer pressured me into actually going back into OSU. Drew peer pressured you? I did. To do One week before the event. Yes. And then he won it. So you're welcome. Thank you. Welcome to OSG. I'm about to give him my yoke height for the stand and submit press medley. Hopefully it doesn't uh, snap my wrist in two. <laughs> Can you explain, give us a little background on why, why you said that? Yeah, so in prep for OSC Southwest Regionals, I did my wrist in pretty good, um, fractured it. Um, originally pulled out of Southwest Regionals and then jumped back in like the week of, and somehow I wound up winning and here I am. So we're gonna see how this press medley goes. Uh, if anything, I'm expecting for sure to get through the barbell and the dumbbell for sure. The yoke is where things get iffy, but we're going to go for it either way. Because it's going to swing, right? Oh, it's yes. Motion? It's yeah. that swinging motion, and there's all that pressure on the wrist here. Not my favorite, but good times, bud. We'll see. That's good. Touch it, touch it. Touch it, bring it back. Watch it. Stop pulling my hands. Steven, uh, what was your opinion on the, uh, the rules meeting? I felt like you had some very passionate facial expressions. <laughs> I didn't know some athletes couldn't read. Because <laughs> those rules have been posted for a while. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I feel like we spent 30 minutes longer than weeks. we needed to. Yeah. Should we do a hair flip together for the camera? Oh, yes, right. do it. Down. Yeah. Hey, you gotta flip yours more. There we go. Beautiful. That's gotta be slow motion. Just slow. Boo, Oklahoma strong man. I just want to get a feel for how the frame is. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go with the 20 inch pick. Yeah, 20 inch options. One wider and one is shorter. I think, the, I think the options were 14, 16, and then the default is 20. I know for sure I'm, because I'm a taller guy, I'll go with the 20, but. Still just want to feel it. Want to touch it. This is one of the events where I'm like, eh, I'm not too too worried about. I'm good with dynamic events and anything grip related. These old big old hands. That's right. He's Mark Felix Jr. over here. You know I haven't ran into Mark Felix yet. He's one person that I'm like dying to meet while I'm here. Hopefully we make it happen. No doubt. He was one of the first people that I, it was videos I watched when I first got into strongman. All right, it almost Ah, we can do it. Still an athlete. <laughs> he still got it. That's a uh, 20 high and 32 wide. Yeah. So they can change the height on these? Huh? Yes. And this event is what? This is the sticks and stones frame and nickel stone carry. So which one do you do first? We do the uh, frame carry 50 feet, and then we run back to the nickel stones that are set at 25 feet. And then carry those 25 feet, you're allowed. One drop on the nickel stones. Um, I don't plan on dropping the frame at all. So uh, 
Yeah, I'm really excited about this. You maybe expect them dropping the nickel stone just because it's a little awkward? You know, as far as prep went, I didn't drop them at all every time I did comp weight, so I'm not anticipating a drop at all during this event, but you never know what can happen on comp day. So this one will be fun. Why? Because it is a take on the death medley that's usually at OSG, but I get to wear a lovely 110 pound uh, ruck backpack while I'm carrying. one of the events that uh, didn't change weight-wise? Um, I the rug changes that Lynn was talking about? I think my tombstone will be a touch lighter, because my original tombstone weight is 325, so maybe like maybe 310 or so, um, but the rounded med ball sandbag should still be the 275. Both weights I can carry just fine, but it'll be interesting to see how I do with a an added 110 pounds on my back. <laughs> <laughs> no biggie. I've always wondered what it'd be like to be an open weight competitor. I'm gonna find out. Yeah, no biggie. No, All right. I got this. How do you feel about like picking this one up versus like just training with sandbags like you have at, uh, at the gym? You know, there's a bit more give than I was expecting, which is positive. <laughs> I'm totally going to get a handle on it, so I'm not as worried about the pick on the round of sandbags outside of me. Oh, yeah. Now, the tombstone, you're just going to have to get that one out. Yeah, it's part of it. If you die, you die. If he dies, he dies. <laughs> So, like, are you the type that looks at the athletes that you're going to go against, or have you not even thought about or looked up? You who's... know, I've glanced, but I'm not just hyperactive as far as, oh, I have to beat this person. Oh, this person's done this in prep. It's, I'm worried about myself, keeping myself healthy and doing my best. So, I mean, I mean, obviously, I'm going to give props where props are due to my other competitors because, obviously, they worked hard to get here. But, I mean, I'm worried about me, and I'm all right with that. This is, this is where I just follow you, and then I, I fast forward it. I'll get more in tonight. So. For sure. How'd that cut go? Easy. Yeah. I was like four pounds on it. Yeah. Once I start, my the water starts going out, it went out really easy. So. Good deal, man. No sweating, so that was ideal. I love it. Are you competing against each other? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Un unfortunately, I have to go. Oh, oh shut up. <laughs> hey, we had a missed opportunity because originally you had signed up for Oklahoma Strongest. Yes. I did, and I did not wind up doing it. So now we get to finally have finally. the, uh, the matchup. We've known each other really since I started. Yeah. And we have never competed? competed? No. Never competed. Yeah. So this will, be, this will be fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is the Alex Chappelle. Look at Strong personalities. We know him yeah. very well. Yeah, he let me follow him one time. Got, so what we got? National champion. Got the pro card. Yeah. Um, got the Arnold invite. What else? America's Strongest Man. You were fifth? Sixth. Sixth? Yeah. What have you not done? Seth, uh, quit being awkward back there and join the spot. Top, 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 say hi. Top base. That's what we got to aim for. Seth just takes over. He's like, oh. And then he's like, what do you want? He's like, all right, Junior. We're waiting on all these yokes. Yeah. We're taking those. I, I, I was in the bum rush. I was like, look, I'm getting this right now. <laughs> we went and got our uh, frame up. Uh, yeah. Which is wider than I've been training, but yeah. the height is like six inches taller. So, so it's easier. Yeah. The pick is a lot easier. Yeah, man. So he's just he's following me around and knowing me. Make me a document about you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Melvin. Melvin Weaver. Hey, what's up, Melvin? How are you, bud? Uh, he didn't know this until this morning, but I'd also been kind of following him since I started getting strong, man. So you nice to, have things nice to see another guy from the motherland that's doing strong, man. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Hey, I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, isn't, like, it, isn't it pretty cool, like, people that you kind of follow or see on Instagram, and then you meet them in person finally? It's always awesome. It's always nice. You know, they seem so nice. You know, you know, some people are not life that is not really genuine, but then when you meet, you have a real connection, and you're like, yes. Yeah. Are you all competing against each other? Right. Wanna bottle fight, right? Yeah. Oh, oh, my God. Yes. Oh. yes. Yeah, we're gonna have some fun, man. Yeah. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you, bud. Yeah. Where's my wife? Uh, she's up there. There she is. We're about, we're about to re meet the real star. Oh, Sam, show. who is it? Oh, yes. This is my lovely wife, Jenna. No, yeah. Shh. Look at that. Look at that girl, man. 
She's okay. She was the one keeping us out of trouble during the rules meeting. Yes. yes. Or adding to it. I don't know. Making sure you heard everything you needed to. Project yes. manager. She is my project manager. She's the project manager? I need all that. I need all that. Mm -hmm. All right, so tell me, what's it been like seeing him prep for this competition? Uh, it was a little different, just with his wrists and everything, and we weren't expecting to be here with his wrists. We were not expecting to uh, be here, because it was regionals, we didn't even know if we were competing until the week of. So all of this is kind of cherry on top. And it's a blessing to be here, and we're thankful to be here. And whatever happens, we're going to be happy with the result because he did his best in prep, and he was awesome. I tried. You did try. I feel like you were pretty consistent. Oh, yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Yeah. Oh, you got to get the handshake, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. I hear you. <laughs> Let's go, Andrew. Let's go. Get it, Steven. What's up, bud? French toast later. Johnny. Darren. DJ. Hi, Hannah. Please don't get lost in it. What's up? What's so proud? So how do you feel walking down the tunnel earlier? Really neat, man. It kind of took me back to uh, my football days playing in college and then, you know, the, the half a second I spent in NFL training camps for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, yeah. It's crazy. Right. It's crazy uh, how many countries and, and, yeah, and, and I think also one of my favorite parts is meeting the athletes from different seconds. countries and how the sport of strongman has grown, spread into these countries. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. It's unreal, for sure. And the venue looks awesome. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm kidding with excitement right now, man. I'm speechless. Anything you've noticed with the first couple of hits that we've seen so far? Um, definitely uh, that swing on the anchor yoke that Loom was talking about at the rules meeting. Um, I noticed that if you try to go into it, like almost be like a running thruster press, it will throw you off yep. balance. No doubt about it. So really got to settle in before you attack that. Made all the kit over there and put it in a seaside container and ship it over here to West Virginia. What was Jenna saying? Yeah, like Jenna was saying yesterday, you know, I really am not supposed to be here because I recently dropped out of regionals. And when I went back in, I wasn't expecting a podium. I just went just to have fun cheer on my buddies and then just that attitude helped me and I wound up winning the show so more so just going to carry that same attitude here first when it goes great awesome if it doesn't go like I want it to all right brush it off 
the you're next trying to get event. back to that mindset like you're playing with house money. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly, man. So. Is it the shoes? These are the shoes. Is that what you wear for the whole time? Uh, for the press yeah. medley. Oh, okay. For sure. And then made the day three for sure. The, uh, the sandbag toss and the Atlas stones. I mean, because because I'm a taller 105, I can get away with not wearing. How tall are you? I am six foot four. You're six foot four? I thought you were only like an inch taller than me. <laughs> yeah, I am. I think I'm the tallest 105 here. Yeah, six foot four is really tall for 105. Oh, there's there's open guys that aren't as tall as me. So. Uh. But you're also one of the few that they didn't have to do like big weight cuts. Yeah, yeah. I just had that. to make sure I went to the bathroom and didn't go crazy on Thanksgiving holiday week. But yeah, I weighed in at 226 oh, yesterday, which is I walk around at around 232. <laughs> So, and do you feel like that's a big advantage for you, not having to do weight cuts? I definitely think so, because I'm not a, you know, super depleted coming in. You know, I don't have to do any crazy water loading. Don't have to change my eating habits, really. I just have to be smart about what I'm putting in my body, you know, the week before. And does it become a disadvantage, though, for those guys that do make the cut and then get stronger, obviously, as they are able to refuel with, you know, day two, eventually day three? Disadvantage for me or for them? Well, it'd be a disadvantage for you because then they're at a heavier natural weight. I mean, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Yeah. I mean, obviously there are guys that are in my class that walk around at 265, 270. I can't help that. I just have to play my game, do what I can do. That's that. All right, so what's next right now? What's next? I'm about to get warmed up for the standard submit press medley. First is, first is a barbell, circus dumbbell, a anchor yoke, and a block. Uh, mindset going into this, I get the first – Event was the barbell, our first implement was the barbell. I'm thrilled, you know, because of this, not much pressing has been able to happen. You know. How's that feeling right now? As good as it's gonna be, is what I've been telling you. As good as it's gonna feel, it's not 100%, it's definitely not as, it didn't feel as bad as it did when I was doing regionals. For sure not 100%, but, you know, gonna send it anyways. You know, I'm not, it is what it is. Do you have any superstitions before like competing, whether it was like in football, your football days or uh -huh. strongman days? Do you have any superstitions or anything like that? Um, not necessarily pure superstitions, more so there's a little thing that I do like right before the judge blows the whistle. I'll pray, you know, thank God for giving me this ability. I will kiss my wedding ring and I'll point to the sky and say thank you. I do that before every single day. I love it. Let's get you warmed up. Let's go. Lane number three, Jason Tenderball. So is it true what you uh, what I've heard that you've said about Alec that he's super weak? He is one of the best one of five on the planet. That is what I recall myself. That guy? Him right there, yes. The guy who just curled 245 pounds? Yes. Alec, is it true you can curl a thousand pounds? No. For reps? Absolutely. No? I wish. That'd be pretty cool. You deadlifted de a thousand pounds though. Yeah, from 18 inches, which is a fake deadlift, so. Which is a fake. <laughs> it's not real. Fake news. Yeah. Fake it news. Counts, so it counts in real life. <laughs> Lane one. The same heat as Emmanuel Piscari. You're right. <laughs> oh my, it's kind of even getting off the fucking floor. Yeah. I hit the lowest, the lowest catch. It's like a full run. I was like, you know what I gave you? Athletes are away 285 pounds. Dan Hughes, the first one to be 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 the first one to one time, one time. Let's go! You got this. He's got time now for the 263-pound pound. Eyes up, eyes up. Eyes up, Big Rap. Keep going. Come on, Big Rap. 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 Come on,
I mean, I, kinda, I knew going in. Tell us the in, results real quick. Yeah, so wound up zeroing the event, the barbell. I mean, kind of knew going in this would be the one event that's going to be my vice. Only so much you can do with a broken wrist. I mean, yep. I've not been out of shape about it at Good. all. I mean, just get past it. I'm going to hang out, cheer everybody else on, and uh, get ready for my bread and butter, which is that, uh, that uh, Sticks and Stones carry. Yeah, what are, you, what are you going to do now? Uh, I'm going to get some Chick-fil-A. Uh, definitely, probably... Two uh, Chick-fil-A sandwiches, two orders of fries, and a whole bunch of Powerade. <laughs> oh, it sounds heavenly Let's right go, now. Let's go, bud. Let's do it. And he's got it. That is your new leader. We'll get a push of score once it's going to lose. 25 seconds remain. 15 seconds. Getting ready to do the Sticks and Stones um, frame and Under Denny five. carry. Um, this is definitely one of my better events, so not really much strategy going into it. Otherwise, just doing what I do, fast feet, do not drop anything under any circumstances whatsoever. Pretty simple. What's your expectations for this one? Expectations, uh, for sure, top 10 in this event. Top 10. Definitely. Because you got them hands. What? Uh, sorry. <laughs> what they lower your weight to? No idea. I honestly, I honestly don't know. They did lower our weight for the frame. What was it originally? It was originally 750 pounds, Ooh. which is I, I had done multiple times in training. I was fully prepared to do. So, if anything, this is a good thing. Yes, sir. Only lighter. Um, We're still working on what's your last two. Okay. I love you, David. Say it back. What'd you say? Nothing. All right. So, we just saw Mark, we saw Mark Felix, Felix go. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little backstory Ten about you and Mark Felix. Yeah, so when I first started uh, getting into Strongman, Mark Felix was one of the uh, first athletes that I first started following. And, you know, kind of relate to him the most because, you know, grip strength guy, super athletic, and just, it's amazing how he's been able to do what he's doing at his age. Like, and if I look like that when I'm in my 50s, or even close to that, I'm <laughs> elated, dude. Oh my goodness. 
That's her husband! That's my husband! Yup, love it. Love you! What was it like seeing your boo dominate? The bestest thing ever. That was amazing. That's my husband. That's my husband. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. What's up, man? All right, tell us how it went, bro. It went really well. Um, like I said, I didn't have any worries about this event. Anything related to a carry and grip, grip I know I'm gonna place at least top five on, and I'm pretty sure that that will probably that will definitely shoot me up in the rankings for sure. And I think like as far as top five, that goal, that'll hold up for sure. But I mean, we got a lot of great guys that are still going to compete in them. I'm just enjoying it now. Like, yeah, I feel you good. Got, feel you great. got polar opposite results. Yeah, so as, as expected. Second, as expected. And then you, uh, by a quarter of a second. By a quarter of a second so far. So I mean, <laughs> uh, Tim McCaskey, who I met backstage, awesome guy, heck of an athlete. So I mean, it's, you're going to have that. Um, and I mean, we still got a, quite a few heats left, so we'll see, we'll see what they got. Let's go. Crazy, right? Um, it flared up definitely after the press medley. I uh, woke up, took some meds, and it's feeling all right. There's nothing here today that should aggravate it too much, so I just want to make sure she's still wrapped up and secure. So. DJ, bro, do it again. He says next year he's coming after you. I'm coming you. at you, bro. Oh, he's right. coming nah. after you. <laughs> hey, you did great. Thanks so much, my friend. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. How'd Johnny do? Uh, eight or nine or something like that. That's all it is. Yeah, Second okay. overall, so he's yeah. good. Good. That press bit was Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you killed him. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. It's a right there. Uh-oh, well, we're in trouble. It's because I let my hair down. I let my hair down. I was like, all right, we're good. We're good. I'm competing with Johnny for best hair at the competition. Yo, you two got it. Uh, One or two right here. Hey, hey he's, boy, he's looking swell. He's looking swell. <laughs> the dreads, uh, the dread versus the fade. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They call it the Johnny Bravo. The Johnny Bravo? <laughs> A battle that will stand the test of time. No doubt in my mind. His nickname was, well, his middle name is Rocco, Johnny Rocco. Johnny. Is it really? That's what I got. Yeah. Where do you get I that? I don't to use that. Was, was, uh, my wife's father's name was Rocco. Oh, okay. Okay. I like that. Yeah, so. Nah, that's cool. So I told him to use that instead of his last name. I said, that'll catch. Johnny Rocco. Rocco. Yep, Johnny Rocco. I'm going to say that to him. That's hell of a strong name, too. Johnny Rocco. That six that the rest of that evening shoot. Ow. The real shit. Let's go, Johnny Rocco. And then there's Swole Jesus. Swole Jesus, yeah, Swole Jesus. 
Jesus in black shoes. That's right. I love that. Hey, man. Formally introduced. My name is Brandon. Yeah, okay. Nice to meet you. Here, here we go. We have swollen yeah. Jesus. We have black Jesus. <laughs> What's going on, man? Hey, that was that was. Thanks so much, man. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. Yeah. That frame was very good yesterday. Yeah. Thank you so much. That's what I was just telling. That was that was impressive. Thank you very much. I'm a fan of you now, so <laughs> we smash it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, buddy. Try not to fanboy right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, my brother. I've been there. I met him at Clash on the Coast. Yeah. yeah. And you and your wife came up to my table. Is this seat taken? I was like, uh, uh, uh. no, 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 please. Let's sit. Let's it was, eat. It was funny. When I finished, I was like, holy shit, that's a lot of Charlotte. Hey, I was pissed off yesterday. So I was like, yeah, Why were you pissed off? I tore something. I tore my um, radio on the. Are you, are Actually, you, I did it three weeks ago on Atlas Stones, and I was worried there was always a chance it was going to go on the barbell. As soon as I cleaned that barbell, uh -huh. it just went. Yeah. I pulled out. Yeah. 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 Like the, if everything went to plan, like I would have done three fast on the overhead. Yeah. I wasn't going to get the block because my mobility shit. Yeah. Frame, frame <laughs> was a good event for me. Yeah. Like, I was expecting I to be at least yeah. three on that. Uh, uh, this should have been good. Yeah. Um, yeah. So when you do shit, I came here to win. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't come here to make up. Yeah. And, um, my body just doesn't let me do what it used to. So. But it's good seeing you compete. Yeah. 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 It was nice to train for it, but now I'm going to focus on promoting strongman, yeah. coaching, yeah. Yeah. businesses. And During the, um, was it the Reels meeting, were you listening to your video clients? Because I know like on your channel you say that even when you're competing, you're trying was, to get back to them. Was, um, uh, the, the, the Reels meeting went on for so long, I was just replying yeah. to clients. There were so phone. many dumb questions. Or, or you I like how Lynn finally said, all right, he's just trying to cheat the deadlift. You, should, you need Darren Sadler there. When Darren does a rules meeting, he's just basically, well, you all know how to deadlift, so that's deadlift. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. Any questions? Yeah, any questions. And you ask any a question, questions. no questions, fine. No yeah. questions. Oh, yeah. Much, much better. Yeah. That's awesome. That was cool. That was cool. That's the reaction that was cool. I was waiting for. <laughs> between my singles because I still got some time and then make sure my last warm-up is either the first or second bar. No, I did the so how does it help to have your coach also competing at the same competition and like a little bit in front of you? It definitely helps because you know he's in it. Like it's not like he's I've been out of the game for 50 years. Like he's he's doing it. He's at the top. He's among one of the best in his weight class. You know it's it's almost like having a big brother as your coach because he's like a year and a half older than I am. Which for me it works. Yeah, it works. Awesome. And he's a very like it's very he he knows me. He knows like I'm pretty simple. It's like hey, this is how you should do it. Boom, I get it done. And I've had a lot of coaching before, so you know yeah, what. Yeah. yeah, I know what good coaching's like. I know what bad coaching's like. Derek's definitely good coaching, hands down.
spell went out. Yeah. Well, right. at least you at least you can say you went all out on that. Yeah, for sure. It wasn't a wrist issue, right? It was no, just yeah. no, 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 no. My wrist is fine. My wrist is fine. What was that weight? You were seven twenty-five. Which I've hit in training multiple times. You gonna have that? Yep. So, but not after three days or three events already of super no, duty. No, yeah. not, not quite, but you know, it is what it is. I'm not upset. Um, I know I ripped through the first two pretty fast, so that should bode well for me. Let's get together for the uh, for the go rush. Yep. All right, bro. What are we setting up for? What are we warming up for? I mean, about to get ready for the Go Ruck Survival Challenge. Uh, 275 Med Ball Sandbag. Uh, 325 Tombstone Sandbag. Fall by Sled Drag. Uh, an event that I expect to do pretty well on. Uh, expecting to be about top 10 uh, for sure. Uh, kind of within striking range ish of day three, so I'm just going to leave it all out there. Let's go. <laughs> it's not. It's like, so I, I went to go hand it to an 80 earlier, yeah, and he was like, he's like, I went like this, and I handed it to him. And he goes, he goes, I'm natty, and I was like, <laughs> it's over the counter. Doing? It's a bronchi. Yeah. It's for like, people with like breathing issues. Oh, yeah. gotcha. It just helps you. It's over the counter. It's just yeah. it helps you. Yeah. I mean, it came in this, so yeah. So yeah, bro. How do you think he's doing so far? Dude, DJ, man, first year here, dude, just dominating. Figuring out what he's bad at, really showing everybody what he's good at. So I'm, I'm happy he's here, man. Good, man. It's good to have more people in the corner, man, too. You're, you're also been kind of killing it uh, these last few days. Yeah, yeah. Um, made up some good points today. Going into another event that I should do really well out. Fingers crossed I make it to day three. Day three are my best two events. So anything can happen these next three events. And I feel like everything's kind of been happening like you expected. You knew you were going to do really yeah. well on the press. Farmers was, or the knew, frame knew frame. what was going to happen yeah, on the frame. Knew. And then deadlifts. Deadlifts was. exactly to training. Did exactly what I did in training. Hit it perfectly. Hopefully go ruck. Goes exactly the way I want it to. Nice. Or it can go ruck itself. <laughs> Okay, on that note. Yeah. I love it. I love it. That's my coach. <laughs> Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Yeah. You're just going to scoop and go. I can throw it. That's what I do. What was that? One more time? <laughs> Did you see they got the turtle pads out there for when you're done? You finish dropping the sled and just Jesus, I love take it. the wheel. I love no, it. No, we saw like, we saw one of the revs, like the girl was falling oh, back there. Yeah. And like slid it perfectly yeah. together. Yeah. It was awesome. Yeah. MVP. Yeah. MVP yeah. save. Jesus, take the wheel. Take the wheel. Oh wait, that's us. <laughs> he was also the same guy that literally ran across the lanes. Yeah. To catch a circus dumbbell that was about to hit somebody that was about to go for a split jerk on the yoke, yeah, and I was like, "Holy!" Yeah. Yeah. I straight up told him like, "Hey, bro, that's yeah. saving lives." And yeah. I don't, I don't know which judge it was. We, one of them watched one of our competitors fall backwards with figure eights on on the deadlift. Like, that was Shane. I, yeah, and then just sat there and watched like, him like, "Dude, help like, the man." He was just help like, "The mm. man." Like, might want to get yourself up, buddy. He's like, that looks like that sucks. <laughs> and Shane's like, can you like? Do yeah, something? like, like his foot was like wedged yeah, in like, there. He's like, <laughs> like I literally can't get myself. He's good. Up. Like, come yeah, on, he's dude. good. Like, like you gonna take a pull? Right. <laughs> <laughs> so fun story about these white these. Well, they used to be white nobles that I'm wearing. Woo. So when Jenna and I got married, we did a shoe change for the reception, and we bought a pair of crisp white nobles. And she has a matching pair that she wrote J Dog on the side of hers. And mine just became my training shoe, so I wanted to wear them for the last event today. Love you, baby. Oh. Hey, convince him to go to open. To open? I'd have to gain like 100 more pounds. 
You yeah, two- take it, take your time, but you can definitely get there. You got the height for it. Alexei Novikov only weighs two, like eight five, two ninety. Yeah. We'll see. I've been thinking. I've been seriously like. No, he's about three hundred. He's, like, he's like one forty, I think. When he won it, though, he was two ninety. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When he won it, he was under three. I think he was the light. He was the light. One of the lightest. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I've, I've been toying with the idea for the past like year. Yeah. Like I was even like, oh, this might be my last time. With what, do you, what do you sit out in your off season? Like two thirty five. I mean, when I played football, it's 275, so I can hold the weight. Oh. I can hold the weight just fine, and I was still fast. Yeah. So, oh, there you go. There's a proof. He tried, out for, hey, he tried out for the NFL. Yeah. Yeah, I had a couple of problems. Me and I'm not here. Wow. No biggie. Yeah, it's only the top 1% of the top 1% that make it. <laughs> this is my stint in the NFL. <laughs> 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 it's like, when, when, you, when you Google Bye. DJ Dog at football, it goes, did you mean? <laughs> Actually, I think I tried to do that, and it suggested a different player. Probably, like yeah. Darnell Dockett or something. Yeah. Did you misspell? Yeah. Oh, man. I need all the wins. Yeah. Ain't no L's. I gotta get a no call to quit. Yeah. Gotta keep on moving no matter how hard it gets. Yeah, better move out the way cause I'm coming with harder hits My head is as hard as a brick but I'm harder than all it is You, one better move, you might get knocked out, knocked out You, better move, you might get knocked out, knocked out You, better move, you might get knocked out, knocked out You, better move, you might get knocked out, knocked out Stretch my heart on my sleeve, stretch till my green That's how I get it, success ain't no giving Some days I don't hit, I don't sleep But I'm focused, I'm dying, just down Wonder when I'm anxious, ain't no limit till I tank I'm running on pills to hop
Having that feeling, finishing that event, people getting hyped for you. Second to none. Second to none. I don't care where I ended up now. That was awesome. All right, let's go get some water, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Being here with uh, DJ Doggett, he just finished his first LSG finals. How you feel? Oh, I'm right. You know, I'm feeling pretty good. You know, we uh, we made some good plays. And, uh, you know, um, you know, what I'm saying we ball till we fall. You know, what I'm saying, uh, you know, with my bad ribs. You know, what I'm saying, you know, just. No, God, it's good, <laughs> okay, I'm going to be serious. I'm going to be serious. Okay. Uh, you know, so this is y'all's tradition after every competition? Okay, uh, first half, you know, you came out strong. What about the second half? What were the adjustments you made? Well, to answer Yoni's question, yes, after every single competition, Jenna went here. But uh, hold on. I'm sorry. Can you ask that question again? Uh, uh, first half, you made some adjustments. What were your second half adjustments? You know, they had us in the first half, not going to lie. <laughs> But you know, definitely, I know I need to work on my static strength because any sort of moving event, I know I'm gonna place among, amongst the top because I'm a good athlete, I'm not gonna lie. Um, definitely grateful, blessed, and honored to have placed 16th in my very first OSG World Final. And honestly, there's nowhere to go but up. I still haven't even hit double digits as far as competing. Sky's limit. Yeah, what, what number is this? Like six, seven, I don't remember. And you, and I was here, so you performed well. Cause naturally. Naturally. I mean, you were there when I won my first big show back in August, so I mean, it's fitting that, you know, I have my good little charm in my interview here. True debt. Uh, what are we doing tonight? Hey, 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 <laughs> hey, hey. It's supposed to be PG-13. I was just saying, like... Are we doing your pony? So we got Jenna, AKA the project manager. That's right. All right, I wanna hear your side of a DJ's journey from your point of view. Uh, first, give me a little recap of what you saw from him for during OSG. Mm -hmm. So, it was, for us together, I mean, it was a lot. Um, but seeing that he came out 16, and seeing how happy he is, like, I kept telling him, I don't care if you podium, make it to day three, or, you know, come in last. Like, either way, we're coming home, like, together. And I was really proud of his um, training. And uh, I kept trying to validate him by always telling him he belonged there. Um, he would struggle you know, sometimes at home, and I can, I can always tell whenever he's thinking about something, like, deep, <laughs> um, <clears throat> and usually it's because he's doubting himself, um, but to get here at this point, it was the cherry on top, because we weren't supposed to be here, um, with his wrist, you know, it was two, three, two weeks up until the regional, that we decided, you know what, let's just try it out, we found out from after the MRI and x-ray, like, he can't do any more harm to his wrist. Um, it was kind of like, let's give all you got, see what you got. And then the fact that he came out on top was amazing. And so everything after that was a bonus for us. Um, being here in West Virginia, having the opportunity to come, anything that happened here was a bonus. So his prep, definitely ups and downs. Um, some days it'd be great with his wrist, some days it was trash. <laughs> um, and it, not anything in, in his effort, it just was like the wrist wasn't cooperating that day and it just made it hard that, you know, OS or at the regionals, he was able to um, only use his good wrist um, whenever he was doing the circus dumbbell. So, uh, but we knew that everything was gonna be uh, Okay, no matter what. Um, so. What was, What were your favorite yeah. moments that were off the competition floor? Um. Well, something for me that is always interesting to see in his, he has the best willpower I've ever seen regarding food. Um, like it is crazy. He can eat crate, like eat a lot, but then also he cannot. He can have the self control to not eat. 
Um, I do not have that. I see a cookie, I want the cookie, you know? And so um, off the floor, like leading up to um, like the day before traveling, we just, you know, kind of told each other, hey, let's just be nice and nice to each other. The trip will go well. Um, but also he said, hey, I'm going to be like fasting for the next day. So if I get angry with you or if I'm a little upset, it's literally because I'm hangry. And I'm like, I totally get that because I get hangry all the time. Um, and uh, we just have a lot of fun moments together, like sitting in the stands or um, even the first day, like after the his last, it was after the frame carry. Um, I just told him like, I miss hanging out with you. Like you're here, but I feel like I haven't talked to you all day. So then just having that moment to like afterwards, like I see him, but like he's literally my best friend. So like after I see him compete well, um, I just want to talk to him about anything and everything. So, you know, anytime after, um, I mean, just hanging out with him is one of my favorite parts. And then every time before he uh, competes, he always kisses his wedding ring and points up. And it's just like a little cute little gesture, like he's thinking about me. And then he's thinking about Jesus and giving all glory to God and everything he does. So, and that's something that we live by. And then fun fact, so every major uh competition he's done I've made t-shirts and so every uh, uh, competition we have we started saying like reps for Jesus and so maybe we'll make it into a brand one day but this one says OSG world final um, I had one made for the regional and then whenever he went to nationals in Minnesota so so far three shirts and I'm hoping to keep making those shirts so saying any final words for DJ for when he sees this? Yes. Uh, love you long time, forever and ever. Um, I can't wait to see where, um, you know, your future competitions go. And I'm going to be right there cheering you on. Um, we even talked about, like, we saw so many different couples here that had kids. And we have talked about, like, hey, when we're at that point and we have kids, like, that's something that we can do. Like we saw uh, Emmanuel, like in his family, and their cute son, and it was like, hey, this is possible. Like things have to change of, you know, becoming a family. Or like I saw with Emmanuel and his wife, like he was a dad, and then when he was ready to warm up, he warmed up and he came back and he was immediately dad. So that was really cool to see, and that was something that we talked about that that's going to be something that we plan to do, God willing, and um, but. There's no announcement at the end of this video either, so <laughs> everybody watching it, no, we are not, you know, currently expecting, but I was down the road. Nervous. I was getting a little nervous. <laughs> yeah, down the road, but um, no, I'm just really proud of you and how you did in this competition. You improved mentally, physically, like how far you've come, and I can't wait to see everything you do in the future and love you and put up the field goal and kick it through love you and you did awesome all right dj you didn't make it to the top 10 what place did you did you end up i wound up in 16th all right give us a little recap how do you feel about your placing how do you feel like with each individual event and then we'll go from there um overall with my placing i am honestly i'm thrilled man my first osg world final my sixth or seventh competition overall i mean you i can't ask for much more than that Obviously, I would have loved to have been in the top 10 because I feel if I made it to the top 10, I could have made a little bit more noise than I already have. Um, as far as, you know, how the events went, um, about how I expected, I knew the press was either going to be, you know, I get it or I don't, you know, uh, coming in with a messed up wrist that's been uh, ailing me for a couple months now. Um, it is what it is. You know, I'm not upset about it uh, because I knew once that uh, carry, uh, the frame carry and nickel stone carry event came around, I knew it was going to be game over for that. Um, did really well on that, like I expected, and that shot me up the leaderboard for sure. Um, same with deadlift. Um, you know, it was going to be kind of hit or miss. Um, static strength in general is something that I know for sure that I need to improve on and will continue to improve on, along with getting my wrist healthy. And then um, that go rug medley, man, 
same thing. I knew that I was going to place pretty high in that, and that gave me some points. And uh, I mean, to say that I'm the 16th uh, best one of, under one of five strongman on the planet, I mean, come on now. Like, how can I be upset at that? So uh, some of your performance in right? we're talking about the frame carry, and then we're talking about the uh, sandbag ruck event. Mm -hmm. You got some really nice compliments from some big names. Yeah. What have been some of the best uh, interactions you've had with people that obviously you've been following in the strongman sport for a while? So I'll start with the uh, the frame and the uh, nickel stone carry. Um, I noticed uh, when I went back to watch the live stream that uh, Lord Charlotte was right there, just you know clapping, and he's like, "Not like, hey, good job." And then uh, backstage, uh, the next day, he comes up to me, he goes, hey, that was a heck of a run, man. And I'm like, holy crap, that's lost. <laughs> like, I watch your YouTube videos, man. Like, what? I did good? What? <laughs> and then, of course, hearing, um, you know, what uh, Gabe and Nicola had to say about uh, how well I did. And then, of course, uh, Jenna taking over the live stream with the, that's my husband, y'all. That was, you know, I can pick her voice out in a crowd easily, even though I'm so zoned and focused. Um, and then going into... Um, the frame, excuse me, the uh, Go Ruck Survival Challenge. Um, Evan Singleton came up to me and said, dude, you're fast. Like you have unbelievable foot speed, which me being a former track and field guy, I knew that that was something that was to be had. And then Gabe continued with his comments. Um, Evan's Nana, um, fellow Ghanaian brother of mine, um, had some really nice things to say about me. And he said that he, you know, picked up on a few cues that I had done with the sled drive. And I'm like, holy crap, this is a guy that's on the Giants Live World Tour, and he said that he picked something up for me. Like, again, like how awesome is that? Like, little old DJ, he learned something from me. Like, that's unreal, unreal feeling. And then, of course, the compliments I've been getting from my fellow 105 uh, competitors, um, you know, Alec, Dan, uh, Jeff Lee, um, Shane Darrell, my boy. Shout out to you, Shane. Um, and then all the other guys, man, uh, Emmanuel Pascari, John Alamo, um, just they were all really complimentary of me and that to seeing the love those guys are and then to, for them to be complimenting me again, can't beat it. It's awesome. All right. So we've recapped OSG. Tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about the qualifying journey to OSG and what did the prep oh, look man. like to you? <laughs> so uh, with I qualified via the Southwest Regional that was held in uh, Mesquite, Texas. Uh, me and my wife live about 20, 25 minutes away from there. So I signed up. I was one of the first people to sign up because, I mean, how could I not compete in such a big competition that's 20 minutes away from me? Um, and then about <clears throat> a month into prep, that's when I hurt my wrist. And I was like, okay, I'm still going to try to go at it. And then I take a bad fall on our family vacation. And I'm like, I have to drop out. I can't. And I was gutted, man. I was so upset that I wouldn't be able to make my run at Worlds because I knew the events would be good for me at the Southwest Regional. And then um, I wound up getting kind of uh, peer pressured by, uh, by Drew Sloan. I saw her at the gym one day and she was like, hey, I mean, what do you honestly have to lose? Like, come on, it's OSG, at least just give it a go. I know you'll do great. And then uh, I had also been kind of going back and forth with the idea of, okay, do I want to take some time and bump up to the open weight? Because when I played football, I was 275 pounds, so I can hold the weight and still move well. Um, and then uh, Shelly Owens, shout out to you, Shelly. She was like, you know, I think you could be really competitive as a 105 if you get to always the world stage. And I'm like, okay, all right, you know, I'll think about it. So go home, talk to Jenna about it. She gets on board with it. So I'm like, all right, let's do it. We're going to go for it. And then just going in with the attitude of I'm here to have fun. I'm here to just enjoy being around all my buddies. And then however I place is however I place. Um, after the second event, so the events for the Southwest Regional was the monster dumbbell for max reps, then the sandbag carry for max distance, then the sandbag throw, and then the farmer carry, which farmer carry, any kind of farmer carry, any kind of carry is my jam. And so um, after the first two events, uh, I go over to Jenna and I'm like, wait, I'm in first place. These next events are good for me. I can play top three. Okay, great, sweet, I'm going for it, man. And so I had a really, a fun head-to-head -head battle with uh, Richard much again, but I'm sorry if I butchered your name, Richie. Um, heck of a 105 pro strong man out of Texas, you know, had to represent the home state. Um, wound up uh, edging him out for first place in the South Ridge Regional, and I'm like, I'm going to OSG Worlds. What? I'm going, what? Like, come on now. So, um, 
yeah, did not want to pass this opportunity up. And of course, it helps that you know Jed has been so supportive of me um, throughout this journey. Uh, you know, through the ups and downs of that Southwest Regionals prep, and then uh, going into my Worlds prep, you know, more so the same thing, just dealing with my risk because I know like for that uh, press medley, I'm gonna have to use it. And then there'd be days where it'd be do great, and then it'd flare up and I'd have to taper off. And then start feeling better, do great, it'd flare up, have to taper off. And so um, I remember one day in particular during prep with the press event, I had a really rough time, so much so that I walked out of the gym because I didn't want to talk to anybody. And then Derek, my coach, shout out to you, Derek. I know you're gonna do great in the finals. Um, he was like, hey man, like." I know this is important to you. I know you work soon, but like when it comes time, you can't do that. You have to maintain your composure because the rest of the events are good for you. And I don't want you to be so psyched out that you miss out on those events and lose points because you're so in your head. And also that was, and Jenna, she also drove home that point for me as well. And you know, knowing that it's like, all right, that's how I kept that attitude is that first event, it's gonna be what it's gonna be. If it wound up great, awesome, if it didn't, all right, there's more events out there, there's points to be had. And uh, yeah, here I am sitting, number 16 in the world. So let me touch on that uh, prep for OSG. Yeah. So the prep for regionals seemed a little bit more relaxed because you realized that you weren't gonna do it. Obviously there was a change and you yeah. were a lot more relaxed. Um, what expectation, did the expectations you had for yourself for OSG, is that what uh, led to some of the emotional up and down? Definitely, definitely, because Placing first at the OSG Southwest Regionals, and there were some dudes in that 105 class, boy, out I think there were three pro 105s in my class, two or three, I can't remember. And, you know, being able to edge them out, it's like, holy crap, okay, I have a glimpse of what I am truly capable of. Like, I'm not just some guy that just wandered onto the stage and like, oh, who's that fan that's out there competing that doesn't have any business out there? Like, I can be competitive in this sport. And that's what I kept telling myself throughout, you know, most of this prep. And, you know, those lofty expectations that kind of set myself up for when I'd have a bad day, boom, that's kind of when I come crashing down and, you know, have the days where I just want to walk out of the gym and, you know, not speak to anybody. And it took, you know, it took Jenna and it took Derek just explaining to me saying, hey, like, you can't do that. Like, it's going to be okay. Like, no matter what, whether you place top 10, or you're in the bottom two like it's gonna be okay like celebrate the fact that you've made it this far or a lot of people dream of making it to the stage and never do and to me I've not been doing it as long and not even hit double digit competitions yet and to have made it this far and overall to have done well at the SOSG World Final again walking away with my head held high and super happy super excited for the future so it sounds like the prep for this versus regionals was more the mental yes. and emotional side of it obviously because no you're doubt. limited so almost like the silver lining here for that wrist injury is your your mental game for this sport is strong man because i know you've been competitive in other sports mm -hmm. that that was a silver lining mental game you feel is like in a lot better place mm -hmm. for future competitions for sure for sure no doubt in my mind um and I think for me, that's when I compete at my best, when I have that relaxed attitude, when I'm like, hey, you're here, you know you belong, whatever's gonna happen is whatever's gonna happen, control what you can control, which is, you know, going back to football, my effort and my attitude, everything else will just fall into place how it's supposed to be. Sweet, any last words, man? Uh, last words, um, shout out to my mama, Mama Liberta, love you. Um, shout out to my wife Jenna. She's she's gonna be making her appearance in this video. Sure, love you, baby. Mwah. Um, shout out to my Lord Savior Jesus Christ. Could not do it without him and the gifts he's given me. And uh, follow me on IG at ddogit56.